Thank you for listening to the Business Blast podcast. So for all my listeners out there that have been wanting to do your own podcast, I'd like to introduce to you Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. So before I found Anchor, I had never actually done a podcast because all the research that I had uh, gathered made it seem very complex. Then I found Anchor, and Anchor makes podcasting extremely simple. So if you want to do your own podcast, go to anchor.fm forward slash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast. Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with the support you need to finish your book. Best part is, after you finish your book, they take care of the entire publishing and marketing process 100% for you. So, if you want to become a successful author, make sure to check out AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I am your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have Michael Jordan with us. And years ago, a serial killer known as the Torso Murderer terrorized Cleveland, Ohio, eluded Elliot Ness and disappeared without a trace. Michael's book asks, what if the killer returned today? So welcome to the show, man. Hey, thank you very much, Tom. Appreciate it. Of course. Grateful to have you here. So first one I got for you is what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? So I think it's probably the fact that I overcame a lot of adversity when I was a young kid. A uh, speech impediment, a small town, not much going on. And uh, I worked hard all my life and uh, was able to have a very good uh, career. And now I'm uh, doing things that I really wanted to do, which is, number one, write an out. So things worked out quite well. Perseverance is the key. And what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? Well, one thing I learned in, when I became very focused on writing, Tyler, is that it's important to make sure your focus in fiction writing remains on the characters. Uh, your plot is important. Your settings are important. But the number one thing is to make sure your readers will care about the characters. That keeps the pages turning. And what is your best piece of overall business advice? So not necessarily industry specific. I think the number one is perspiration is indeed the key to inspiration and success. Uh, there's a lot of very bright people out there you'll be competing with whatever business you're in. And the one way to make yourself stand out and make people notice you and your work product is to work and work very hard. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? Uh, if you have a passion like writing, uh, don't wait. Always find time in your life to pursue it means something deeply deep to you as a person. Uh, we'll all have our careers, we'll all have obligations uh, outside of those careers, but whatever it is your passion might be, writing, theater, uh, food, find that a way to focus on that passion as well and keep it part of, your, part of your existence as a human being. And kind of going a little bit down a different path, in your opinion, what is the key to happiness? Um, I think it's um, understanding and accepting that the grass is indeed always greener on the other side of the fence. We can always look around and see things we think might other people might have better than we do and have some envy, and we have to really try to avoid that and focus on what's good and important in our lives and why we should be grateful for that. And what is the best book that you've read, and what was the number one thing you learned from that? I can't point to a single book, Tyler, but I can point to almost every book I've read uh, that have had a resolution that was satisfying was, was where the characters were true to themselves. And maybe it began with Shakespeare when he wrote, above all, to their own self be true. And I think there's a valuable lesson there for all of us to learn. And what is your favorite quote and why? Uh, there's many variations I've heard of this quote, but I'll tell you what I really think uh, it is. It's that uh, it doesn't matter that you get knocked down by life. It matters that you get up. Mm. Because we'll all will be knocked down by life. If we try to do anything, if we try to be successful in any endeavor, we'll run into roadblocks and hurdles and disappointments. And the key is to learn from those experiences and get up and keep going to chase the dream. Absolutely, man. Um, the uh, last one I have for you, thank you for coming on, is where can our audience best find you online? On the website for my book, The Company of Demons, 
is www.michaeljordanbooks.com. Perfect. Thanks again for coming on. Thanks for having me, Tyler. I really enjoyed it.